What is up guys, John here at TechmoGo. Today we take a look at a smartwatch that I think you're gonna like. This is the P36D by Motas Smartwatch. It can be picked up on Amazon for right around 30 bucks. I'll put a link in the description in case you wanna check it out. Now I picked this up because I was looking for another way to track steps, calories burned, and workouts to take some wear and tear off my Fitbit Blaze and Fitbit Inspire. So we're gonna unbox this watch, go over some of the features and specs, and I'll give you my thoughts on what I think of the watch. Taking a look at the box, it's very minimal. It's all white with a picture of the watch on the front and some specs on the back. Inside the box, you get a warranty card, user manual, charger, and a watch. This watch comes in two colors. This one is the black stainless steel with black silicone bands. The other is pink, I believe. This watch uses a 20 millimeter band with quick release tabs in case you need to switch out the bands or replace for a different style. I actually have some leather ones on the way that I'm excited to try out. On the bottom, you have your sensor for heart rate monitor and the pins for charging. On the side, you have your on and off button. This watch is IP67, so it's gonna offer you some waterproofing. The watch has a 1.69 inch HD touchscreen color display that I think looks great. It's very vibrant and easy to read. The watch can track steps, calories burned, heart rate, sleep, blood pressure, and oxygen level. The watch also has a training mode that lets you track activities like walking, running, cycling, and basketball to name a few. The watch comes with four watch faces and you can upload a picture to the watch to use as a wallpaper, which I think is cool. It gives you a little bit of custom ability. To get most out of the watch, you'll want to download the Hero Band 3 app. The app is your one-stop shop for all tracking features and watch settings. You'll need it to be able to sync your watch to your phone. Once you have the app, you'll be able to set what notifications you want to receive, like emails, text messages, notifications from popular apps like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and incoming calls. Unfortunately, you cannot answer messages or emails on the watch itself, or use it to make callouts which would have been nice, but again, for 30 bucks, you're not gonna have all the features. This watch can also control music, like change songs, pause and play, but you need to open the music app on your phone first before the watch can take control. Unfortunately, you cannot control the volume, which is a bummer, that would have been a nice feature to have. When ordering this watch, I was afraid of its accuracy when tracking things like steps and heart rate. Fortunately, it's accurate. The step counter and heart rate monitor is as accurate as my Fitbit watches, I put it up against the cardio app on my phone for heart rate tracking and it provided the same results. So it can be trusted for tracking those things. Now tracking blood pressure, it wasn't accurate. I really believe you need an arm cuff for tracking that stat. And as for oxygen level, I have no idea of its accuracy. I have nothing compared to, and I don't know how that thing works. But for the important things for me, like tracking steps, heart rate, workouts, calories burned, this is as good as my Fitbit watches. Now, I've actually been using the watch for a couple weeks now, and the battery life is excellent. It says the battery life should last 7 days and 30 days on standby. At 7 days for me, I had 40% battery life left, so I'm thinking I could probably get at least 12 days before needing to charge. I had brightness set to 2 and used the watch to track multiple activities during that time and received multiple notifications from emails, text messages, to calls. The battery life is awesome, and it only takes an hour and a half to fully charge the watch. But be advised, your mileage may vary. Now this watch isn't perfect. I wish you could respond to text messages from the watch, and I wish it had a better charging cable. I'm not a fan of the propriety cable that this one had. It would have been nice if it had a USB-C cable to charge, because those are more easy to obtain if things should break. But for 30 bucks, it's a lot of bang for your buck. I like it more than my Fitbit Inspire, and I would say it's just as good as my Fitbit Blaze. The build quality is on point, and the watch is comfortable to wear. Now with all that said, if you're looking into getting a smartwatch but don't want to break the bank, this one may be for you. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. As always, if you found value in the video and like this type of content, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Once again, I'm John at TechMogo. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you